Rappler's appeal challenging a 2018 SEC decision to shut down the online news website and organization fell short after the SEC and thorough review of the Rappler's appeal and challenge upheld yesterday its 2018 decision to put it out of circulation. Orion de Sigas on the Philippine depository receipts Rappler issued to foreign business entity Omidyar, which allegedly violates constitutional and statutory restrictions and foreign ownership of Philippine mass media companies that is at the heart of the matter. Rappler CEO and founder Maria Ressa was in the middle of the East-West Center's International Media Conference in Hawaii when she announced the Securities and Exchange Commission decision to close the news organization. In its released resolution, the SEC stated that on January 2018, they ordered the revocation of certificates of incorporation of Rappler and Rappler Holdings Corporation due to constitutional and statutory violations. The SEC also said that their case against Rappler is airtight because the Court of Appeals or CA approved the revocation twice. Attorney Francis Lim, Rappler's chief legal counsel, confirmed they received a copy of the shutdown order. We confirmed that um, we received a copy of the SEC decision dated uh, June 28th affirming its um, earlier decision to revoke the franchise of Rappler. Lim disclosed that they will question the decision of the SEC. All legal remedies will be extracted to overturn the order of the SEC. Rappler is currently studying its appeal options, including filing a petition for review with the CA. We strongly believe in our case. No? Uh, there are cogent and powerful factual and legal grounds to reverse uh, the uh, a decision of the SEC, which we are now discussing, and at the end of the day, uh, uh, we are uh, positive that we can have the revocation of Rappler reversed by the highest court of the land. In case the SEC decides to implement the shutdown order, Rappler will seek a temporary restraining order or preliminary injunction from the CA to counter it. Rappler has 15 days to appeal the decision of the SEC. Now, there is a question whether this SEC decision was uh, properly done. And in our view, it was irregular, highly irregular because no, uh, we were not given due process uh, during the evaluation stage. No? Rappler CEO Maria Reza insisted that it is business as usual for them. Our goal is to continue holding the line. You've heard me say that forever. We're not going to voluntarily give up our rights. And we really shouldn't. I've continued to appeal for that because when you give up your rights, you're never going to get them back. Um, the mood, uh, I think stunned because we got here, but I was stunned the first time I was arrested. And then in less than two years, I starting in 2019, I had 10 arrest warrants, right? So these new normals should not be normal. We should demand better. Ryan Lee Sigues for The Nation.